I have read the book The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and I knew that this show was not an easy watch. But now this show is getting really difficult, really disturbing. Episode 6 was maybe the creepiest and darkest episode. A reminder that things might be bad in Gilead but they can get even worse. You understand how disturbing it is when you see Aunt Lydia in tears with June. Serena and Commander Waterford have increased their efforts to get Nicole back from Canada. We see them heading to Washington DC to continue in their mission to bring Canadians to the table. We know how creepy Gilead is but this new place is horrific truly dystopian with Gilead flags all around. We are introduced to Commander Winslow and his wife and their children. That scene was chilling in which June meets the Winslow's handmaid. Her mouth was covered. She couldn't talk as her mouth was sealed and stapled. It was horrific. The handmaids can't talk. They have been silenced. A chilling reminder that things can get worse in Gilead. June was shocked to see this extreme torture of the handmaids. This new place was so disturbing for the handmaids that even Aunt Lydia was in disbelief to see all the handmaids being silenced and forced to cover their mouths. June was also forced to wear a mask to put a cover over her mouth. The interaction between June and Aunt Lydia was quite emotional and we get a hint that if things get worse for the handmaids, then Aunt Lydia's character might show a transformation and be more sympathetic to the handmaids. It was good to see Nick back in this episode. He is a commander now. Commander Waterforce tells him to stand next to June as he was filming videos to bring more attention to his mission to get Nicole back. We see a brief happy moment between June and Nick. It was good to see them smiling. Commander Waterforce reveals that Switzerland has agreed to act as a neutral party between Gilead and Canada. June gets to meet the Swiss team alone despite the Waterford's objections and she tells them the truth that she is the mother of Nicole and she wants her to stay in Canada. She even reveals Nicole's true parentage, not sure if this was a good move by her. June has realized that she has to play smart, she has to do something if she wants to ensure the safety of her daughter. In order to ensure a positive decision, Recommending Nicole stay in Canada, she offers an information exchange trade as Nick is a commander who could exchange information. But after talking to Nick, the Swiss team doesn't give a final decision yet. June was surprised to learn that the Swiss team believes that they can't trust Nick based on their research. Interesting mystery. Now the focus moves on Nick. June learns from Serena that Nick was a soldier in the crusade before he became a driver and he played his role in making what Gilead is today, a dystopia. So it's a bit of a setback for June as she probably doesn't know how to react to this revelation, this information about Nick. So the Nick's character is getting mysterious. So what do you think? What is the real story of Nick? Finally, we see yet another June and Serena face-off, an intense interaction between them over Nicole. I always like interactions between these two characters, but this one was quite ugly and vicious. This intense interaction between them was in front of a decapitated Lincoln Memorial. Is this haunting backdrop an indication that things are going to get worse in Gilead? After the first reality check that Serena got from Luke in episode 5, that she has no claim on Nicole and she means nothing to her. This time it was June who gave her another reality check. June tells Serena that you will never be free of me until both of my children will be safe. You are small, you are cruel and you are empty. You will always be empty. I should have let you burn when I had the chance. And what was Serena's reaction to this? Serena replied, I should have put a ring in your mouth the day that we met. Is she threatening June? So the relationship between June and Serena has turned extremely ugly. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.